Man, I'm seeing red. This is a little quick video of what I got off that Maruga plant and a couple of the others tonight. And look at that, they're in the shape of peppers. What do you know? I know I'm a dork. Uh, I just wanted to show this pix. It's the biggest one I ever got off that Maruga. I don't know how many there are, probably 60, 80, something like that, off of two plants. And there's some real keepers in there, some big hosses. Let's see if I can get you a picture of that. Uh, this picture doesn't look like it's going to come out very good with these. Uh, there's a couple of them. Pretty nice looking ones. There's a couple up here. Came out really good size. The light in here just freaks out my video camera. I don't know why. I think it's a little too bright and too red. It's a nice one. Anyhow, some pretty good ones in there. Not too many small ones. Just really healthy. It took forever to ripen. Took, I don't even know how long, three weeks once they started turning at least. Maybe that's why they're still really hot because they've been hanging on the plant forever. This is a few of the uh, scorpion crosses. I don't know what they're crossed with. I think it's a goat pepper or a scotch bonnet or something like that. That's what they look like. A couple of these look just like a... That's supposed to be a scorpion butch tea, and it's not. So I'm going to be getting rid of that plant. I won't be getting anything off that anymore. And these are butch teas right here. Got some pretty nice ones on here, too. I finally picked them all. I got about maybe 10 or 15 on each one of these plants left. This is off one plant. A couple nice fat ones on there. Anyhow, just a quick update of the... Uh, last harvest now it'll probably be a while before i get anything because i don't have too many flowers on there but anyhow that's that take it easy